All right, team, I'm gonna be speedrunning. I've done one before, but it didn't count because I was playing on the cabin and apparently speedrun.com doesn't have the cabin as an available map to speedrun. So, until that comes out and I can drop a quick first place in there, let's do Frozen Over. I like the sounds of that. Frozen Over, easy, standard. Right, a good thing about speedruns in this game is that they don't actually start until you hit start on the actual first round. So we're gonna put Sorta straight up in the balloon's face, right around here. We're gonna put our Dart Monkey right behind her, around there. So Sorta's got camera detection, Dart Monkey will have camera detection when we upgrade it, and then my final tower is gonna be a recursive cluster. All right, starts the second I start the match. So, in three, two, one, go. Okay, okay, I do have auto start on, I'm pretty sure. Okay, good. Last time I really fucked up a speed run in this was because I didn't have auto start on at the very beginning. Okay, but we're good now, we're good now. So Sorter's already got camera detection just from being Sorter. The bomb is literally the only only reason it's here is for popping leads. Other than that, we don't really need it. I could also just spam Sorter's ability, but that's not guaranteed to pop all the lead balloons and it's a lot slower. So that's why I'm doing this. All right. Also, I'm pretty sure like for most of these maps, for most of the beginner maps on easy, uh, you'll find a lot of the times are significantly similar. Sort of like around the four minute something mark. And so I feel like I could I could I could probably get up there with the with the the winning team, you know? I don't see why not. It's not exactly the hardest speedrun in the world, but then again, I've only done it once before, so I shouldn't get too cocky. Not just yet. Although Sorter is a perfect hero for this. Doesn't really have any weaknesses aside from lead, and that can be easily fixed. I think some of the worst heroes in this game have purple balloons as their popping power. Weakness. Yeah, because, you know what, that might, that might just be me. That might just be me, because I really enjoy placing magic monkeys. And so if I have a hero that also can't pop purple balloons, sometimes I'll just randomly lose to those. Which is a little bit awkward, so not really a fan. Anyway, should I be like hardcore commentating on this? Like, my exact strategy for how I'm going to be getting the fastest time possible? Because I'm not going to lie, I don't really have much of a strategy. I've just, I've literally tried this once before, this was what I did, and it worked pretty quickly. I don't really know what else to say on top of that, you know? And besides, I'd rather just talk about random shit that kind of enters my mind than anything else. Because that, that's, that's just who I am. I'd rather talk random shit in the middle of a high-stakes situation than anything else. Alright, so we got that all up and sorted. I, ideally, I don't even want this guy to be attacking at all, but if he does, it'll help out quite a bit, so... Sure. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, there you go, we're giving shout-outs, apparently. Hell, while I'm at it, I may as well place my factory and banana farm. We'll see, we'll see. That'll be pretty funny if I can get a good speed run and then place all the towers that my my Twitch viewers have changed the name of. Okay, three minutes down. We're almost at round 30. That's pretty good. Pretty solid. Okay, we're going to leave that now and we're going to go for a sub to back us up here. Admittedly, it's from a distance, but it'll still help. Plus, the main reason I'm getting the sub now is for the Moab. Moab needs to be popped at some point. In fact, it probably needs to be popped by the end of this speedrun. So, whenever we finish the speedrun, we should, you know, focus on popping the Moab at that point. God, I hate slow rounds. Okay, but we're doing well so far. I think the general finishing time is around 4 minutes something. So, I don't really know if we're on pace for like a an amazing groundbreaking earth-shaking world record. I highly doubt it, but 
Yeah, could be could be cool. Also, I'm just spamming Sorter's ability every second I get a chance to. Just because I figure if she has the opportunity to use it, may as well. Alright, and boom. There we go. And now I guess I'll just place some extra things to help. Come on. There we go. Shout out. <laughs> and then last one. There you go. <laughs> For my homies. Ah, good shit. Good shit, team. Oh! I completely forgot that it was round 40. And so I was a bit slow on hitting the timer there. But there you go! 4 minutes, 45 seconds, and 17 milliseconds. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.